What's up guys, it's Sneaky Puppers here. Welcome back to part 10 of my Octopath Traveler series. Uh, last episode we completed our first couple of side quests and made it to Sunshade. And we're about to start off Primrose's story and get her along in our party. So yeah, let's see what she has to say. At last. At last he's appeared before me. The man marked with the crow. Jon Snow. The man who killed my father. Her name is Primrose and she is a dancer. This is Sunshade, a city of a thousand pleasures. Forever shrouded in a shadow. Driven into poverty when her noble house fell. She now piles her trade at a tavern. Suffering no end of indignities at the hands of the cruel master Halganesh. All for the day she could have her revenge. Let's get your revenge, girl. Then one day he appeared, a man marked by the crow. One of the three foul villains who murdered her dear father. And so, aided by her sole friend Yusufa, she sprints from the tavern to the labyrinth below in pursuit. She will need loyal allies on this path she has chosen. Take Primrose along. Yes. Hear the beginning of the tale. Yes. Reputation in Sunshade has improved. Even when the blade is held at your heart, faith shall be at your shield. Worlds of House Hazel Hearth. Heart. I assume that was her house. What is this? Dark Brotherhood? Ten years ago. Funny how it works, isn't it? Everything that happens in this world falls into one of two neat little categories. Things one is better off knowing. And things one's better off not. Jeffrey Azelhart, I'm afraid you've been poking your nose into the ladder. I have only done as my convictions bade me do. I thought you might say something like that. You're making this delightfully easy. I didn't even see Primrose there. <laughs> I'm blind. So she saw her father die. Make sure he's dead. Let's leave this place before we're seen. She just blends in so well to the countertop. Hmm. It's done. Huh. I will never forget. Three men. Each marked with the sign of the crow. One on his left arm. One on his right. And the last on his neck. Three men. Foul scavengers. Just like the bird whose mark they bear. They took my father from me. And I will never forget. <laughs> Always the same dream. I wish I had your confidence, Primrose. I couldn't imagine nodding off minutes before my cue. How nice it must be to be the master's favorite. Shut up, Vicky. Bruh. Fine. Go on and keep your airs. Act as though you're better than the rest of us. It doesn't change the fact that you're just another dancer in the sands, Primrose. 
nothing but a kept woman, here to flatter the dignity of men who pay for the privilege. I suppose you're right. <sighs> well, that's her friend, use fur. Shh, enough chatter. Master Helganish is coming. Do I keep you women to titter here in the shadows? My customers are waiting for their entertainment. <laughs> he said titter. <laughs> the opening act should be on that stage already. Now, get out there and earn your keep. Okay, we do not like this dude. Kind of looks like a clown, like a clown from it. Oh, what a bunch of useless strays. Ew. But not you, primos. Ew. You are the only one I can rely. Get out of here. You flatter me, master. Oh, hard. Why? This tavern's custom has increased tenfold since you stepped on our stage. But do not go forgetting yourself. It was I who groomed you for this role. Of course. And I will be forever grateful for that, Master. You were an ignorant girl when I picked you up. Completely useless. I've taught you everything you know. He taught her how to strip. Whoa. What happened to your sweet little smile? What the Who fuck? Who puts a roof over your head and food on your plate? Who bought the jewels that adorn your pretty neck? Who made you the most sought after dancer in this dusty old town? It was me, all me. Oh, me kitten, and I'll see that debt repaid. I'll see you did, mate. Yes, master. Good then. Purr sweetly, and I may give you a treat. Don't dally when you're done with your show. I will be waiting in my chamber. I'll have you purr for me some more. Twister's Duke. <laughs> Primrose, it's your cue. Let's get out of here. I'm coming. Put your face back on now, kitten. Yes, master. The tavern lies at the end of the central road. Yeah, we've been there. Okay, let's head out. Do you have different How dialogue? Are you? No. Should have learned that by now. And they said straight there. This way, Primrose. Get a move on. Oh, so now we're actually going out to dance. Good show. <laughs> show time. Ah, there you are. Keep us waiting long enough, Primrose. Shut up. Forgive me. <laughs> Customers have been waiting. They can wait longer. I am ready. over me father that day I swore revenge against the men who took you from me the three marked by the crow my monk my once proud house fallen I left home far behind following their trail and that trail has led me here I heard one of them often passes through here on his travels it was the smallest scrape of hope but it was all I had until I find him there's no disgrace I will not endure 
Losing my honor is nothing compared to the pain of losing you. Father, I will not stop until I find the three and see justice served. And until I avenge you, I will dance. Too kind and too handsome, I might add. <laughs> not bad, Primrose, not bad. <clears throat> Thank you. Ah. Look at your sandals, seeing you've gone and broken a strap. Go back to the dormitory and fetch yourself another pair. Yes. Papa, Papa, I'm going to be in a play. <laughs> I'll be the princess and everyone will look at me. You'll come and watch too, won't you? Yes. Of course, my dear. Oh, Many thank thanks, you. my lord. Teehee, how was that? <laughs> Guess what, Papa? When I grow up, I'm going to be a beautiful dancing girl, the star of the stage. Uh. Yikes. <laughs> That's a dream best forgotten. <laughs> but why, Papa? Hmm. But why? <laughs> What's wrong with dancing? It's so much fun. If she wants to dance, she can dance. What? Look at her. She's she's beautiful. <laughs> wow. oh, come now. That was so anime. <laughs> I'll tuck you into bed back at the end. Papa has business to attend to this night. Hmm. What? What are you looking at? Yes. I suppose I should get back to my own work. Uh. Bitches. Bitches be jelly. Uh -huh. A thorn? Oh, someone fetch a handkerchief. Primrose seems to be bleeding, the poor dear. <laughs> Perhaps she got a blister? She's always dancing oh so passionately. Are you alright? Yes. It's nothing I haven't dealt with before. Hey! Don't you think that's enough already? Do you take such pleasure in others' pain? We're nothing but the master's playthings, all of us. And we all know what happens to the girls who displease him. Or have you forgotten? Beaten half to death and tossed in the gutter. Left for dead, sick and starving. S stop that! Hm. We all know well enough where we stand. We know what he can do to us. And why torment one of our own? Many thanks. Thank you, Yusufa, but there's no need for you to make foes on my behalf. <sighs> Prim. Yell. What are you doing, yelling back here? Sheath your claws, it's time for work. Or do you think money flows into my coffers by itself? Get out there and collect your tips. Wait a minute. Not you, Primrose. You stay. What was that? What was that sorry show you gave today? Uh, Bitch, they liked it. I think not. Do you think I'm blind? One glance was all I needed to know your mind was not where it ought to be. 
I can see every thought in that pretty empty little head of yours. And they were not of dancing tonight. Hmm. You haven't forgotten your debts, debts now, have you? You haven't forgotten who owns you. You know the fate that awaits you if you dare defy me, don't you, kitten? <laughs> I'm warning you because I care, Primrose. I wouldn't want to see anything untoward happen to my shining star. Dude's got uh, to go. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Master. Forgive me. The truth is... I was simply remembering the first day I came here to you. Mm. Were you now? <laughs> not a day, not a moment passes when I'm not thankful for all you have given me. Pray forgive my lack of focus today, Master. It will not happen again. <laughs> Oh my dear, dear Primrose. I too often think back on the day you came to my door. Just imagining the sight of you dancing for me, as sweet and as innocent as you were, it tickled me so. That is fucking disgusting. And you met my every expectation. You have been my best investment. Hmm. I'll have you perfect. But tonight. Small. You have displeased me, and for this, you must atone. The crowd is looking thin tonight, out on the streets with you and bring us in some custom. Custom with coin, enough to cover a week's expenses. If you can do that, you may s I may still go easy on you. <laughs> At least relatively so. Yes. You were kind. Big yikes. <laughs> Bravo, Prim. That was performance for the ages. How'd you do it? I want to vomit every time I have to call him master. <laughs> yeah, same wavelength. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be out collecting tips? Are you alright? I was worried about you. How is your foot? What? Here, use this. A handkerchief. <sighs> She's so sweet. Be careful out, here, out there, okay? We like you so a lot. <sighs> Utilize each character's unique action. A law, yes, yeah, so I was right. So her action is alluring people. Okay, let's see if it's any good. What about you? I don't know what Alloring... Alloring does. Sumble nine times. Can you use them in combat? So we couldn't capture the guards back in the manor, but apparently we can string these people along. <laughs> You're only strength one. But sure. Got an achievement for that. Irresistible. Oh my god, he's literally following us. Can I not allure you because you're one of the dancers? <laughs> Weird. Well, time to put on a different kind of show. <laughs> this one looks to be the likely sort. Excuse me. Lovely evening, isn't it, my lord? <laughs> Mayhap you'd care to share it with me? My apologies. A tempting offer, but I travel on business. I must depart early on the morrow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It must be a fascinating sort of business that you do. Perhaps you could tell me more over a drink? <laughs> I'd love to get to know you better. Most unfortunate. I am most afraid I cannot. Excuse me. I dance at the tavern just down the street. <laughs> I'd be happy to put on a show just for you.
Oh, I think we're supposed to all all this, dude. Is this gonna- oh, okay, you can only allure one person at a time. Part ways with the person currently with you? Yes. Admit it now, wouldn't you care to spend a little more time with me? I cannot resist such beauty. Follow me, bitch! And then I assume we take him to the tavern? Yes. And then what? Go out and do it again. <laughs> yes, that one's pockets look sufficiently deep. Excellent. Good work, Hidden. You'll be treated well tonight. Many thanks. You honor me, Master. <laughs> the seats are starting to fill. See that not a single cup goes empty. Yes. Master. As you wish. Beg pardon. Good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> ah, Primrose. You're looking more and more lovely each time I see you. It's been a while since we last enjoyed your company. Will you be with us long this evening? <laughs> as long as you'll have me for, my dear. <laughs> Is that so? I'll have to give it some thought then. <laughs> I'll see you again later. <laughs> Till next time. And if that's all, I'll be taking my leave. Oh, look. It's one of the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Or thieves you. <laughs> That's um could it be? There on his right left arm. I'm, I said right because looking at him is it's on his No that is on his left, it's my right. Cool. Don't know my left from right. Moving <laughs> on. The mark of the crow. How long have I waited for this day? Finally, you appear before me. This night, at long last, justice will be served. <laughs> no. Uh. I can't let him get away. Yeah. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> so curious about that man, are you? Was it love, is f love at first sight, kitten? <laughs> Master. I think not. You wouldn't think of abandoning the stage and your customers before the night is through now, would you? Back to work, Primrose. <laughs> I trust I don't need to repeat myself. Put your face back You on do that. remember what happens to the wicked little kittens who cross me, don't you? This is all I have. I may never get another chance like this again. Go. Are you alright? What's the matter? It's not like you to look all flustered like this. Hmm. You don't need to tell me. For you to risk angering the master like that, it must be something important. Leave it to me. I'll keep his eyes busy. You slip out back door on the upper floor. You shouldn't get involved. You put yourself at risk. Look, Prim. Maybe you don't tell me what you're thinking. Come on! But that doesn't matter to me. I'm on your side and always will be. That's cute. <laughs> on my side? <sighs> when the other girls would pick on me and tell me to know my place... You were, all, you were the only one who stood by me. You never say much. You're always so distant, aloof Ethan. But I know you just don't want to burden others with your troubles. <sighs> I know you better than you think, Prim. And I know that deep down, you have a good heart. Ok, 
Yes. <laughs> okay, she's going after him. <laughs> uh. Wouldn't have it any other way. I stay in it. Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah, so this was her little escape route. I knew it. Follow the... I say left. You will bring the woman I need, won't you? Now? Left hand man. So he's talking to our master. Competent help is so hard to come by these days. Whatever is a man to do. I can assure you, my lord. I'm doing all that I can. So he answers to these guys, the crow dudes. Hmm. Halganish, we are friends, are we not? Friends take care of one another, yes. They do not disappoint each other. Yes! I would do everything in my power. I saw a fine dancing girl in the tavern. I would rather like such a girl for my own. <laughs> so it is I thought. Helganish knows him. Listen to me. Bring the woman to the place marked on this map. And Helganish, try not to keep me waiting. Yes! But of course, my lord. <laughs> That map. Sneak mode activated. Don't get involved. This is my problem, not yours. But I suppose you're free to do as you please. Come on already if you're coming. Primrose, join the party. Okay, now we have a party of four. Okay guys, I'm going to wrap this part up here. It was very dialogue heavy, but um, Primrose's story is, seems pretty interesting and seems like a cool character to keep on board. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. Uh, next episode, we'll finish off Primrose's story and we'll see where we go to from there. Uh, leave a like if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget to drink some water and stay hydrated and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!